Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm gonna to show you a third way to make custom patterns inside of Photoshop. Later in this video, I'll show you how to get this free download, so stick around for that. And if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel and visit prettywebs.com for more design resources for your blog and business. Now let's get started. All right, we're gonna to start today by selecting the image that you wanna use. You can use any image, uh, any graphics, anything that you want for this. Today, I'm gonna to just use this flower as, a, as an example. So this is the original image. All I did was come in and do a quick selection with this because it has pretty crisp edges. It's gonna be very easy to, to grab everything. And then I'm just gonna come over to the actual image and mask it out. Now, if you're using the same image that I'm using just to follow along with this, you're going to have some edges right here that uh, if you're using that, that quick selection tool. Uh, so I'm going to come over to the mask and I'm going to use this smudge tool. Make sure I'm using a soft brush and then I'm just going to zoom in. And then you can just kind of go through um, all of these with the brush and all you have to do is push it down. So we're just trying to get all of that stuff that's in the background out of the way and you can go through this uh, I already have one that's that's done so I'm gonna go ahead and use that but I wanted to show you how you would do that just in case you wanted to follow along so this is my flower already masked out I shrunk the flower down to 250 pixels by 250 pixels and then I just cropped the image make sure that you have a transparent background and we're gonna come up to edit and we're gonna define this as a pattern I'm going to call it flower. Okay, once we have that pattern in, we can come over. This is another uh, new document. This is 3000 pixels by 3000 pixels. And you can use uh, whatever resolution you need for this. I know that our flower was a 300 uh, PPI, uh, but if you need it for the web, then uh, move it down to 72. That's just fine. So from here, you can either go to your keyboard and hit shift and delete, and you're going to get this little pop-up window that comes up right here. Um, that would be shift and delete on the Mac and shift and backspace on the PC. And that's going to bring you to this pop-up right here. Or you can come up to edit and then fill from here. And that's going to also bring you to that same menu. So in here, you have all of the options for your fill layer. For us, we're going to use pattern. And we're going to be using a custom pattern, which is the one that we just created, the flower. And we'll be using a script. These scripts come loaded with Photoshop, but if you want custom scripts, you can uh, download them all over the place on the internet. So if you just look up uh, Photoshop pattern scripts, there are several available online for that as well. So, But these are the basics that you get with Photoshop. We're going to start with this random fill and click OK. When you do that, you're going to get this preview window of what your pattern is going to look like. And you can use all of these sliders right here to adjust the way your pattern is going to look. So right here, you can remove all of the colors. So it's just going to give you the original color of that pattern. Or you can bring it up a little bit and add more color. Same thing with brightness. You can add and remove brightness. And the density is either going to give you less flowers, more flowers. We'll leave ours a little bit more filled. And then you can work with the scale as well here. I'm going to click OK. And there's the pattern. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and add another layer and fill that with the pink color. And we'll do the same thing. We're going to come back over to the patterns. We're going to use that same pattern, but we're going to change this to spiral. So this one has a few different options than you had with the first one. You still have this color here and you have your brightness, uh, but here you have pattern spacing, ring spacing, and scale. So you can scale this up or down if you want it a little bit bigger, uh, the space between the rings. You can adjust and you can also adjust the pattern spacing as well. So once you're happy with what you see here in the preview, you can click OK. And then that's going to add that pattern. Let's do one more. This time we're going to create a pattern along a path. And let me show you what that looks like right away. So we're going to come over to the Shapes tool. Now when you have the Shapes tool selected, you're going to get all of these options up here. Instead of Shape, we want to use Path. 
And then we're just going to come over and I'm going to create a border around my my square here. So I'm going to just eyeball it there, but that's going to be my path and I already have it selected. And then I'm going to come back up to edit fill. So we're back up at that little dialog box that we had and now we're going to choose a place along path. Everything else is the same. Contents is pattern. We're using that same flower pattern, uh, normal blend mode. All of that stuff is fine. Click OK. So now what you're getting is what your pattern is going to look like on a path. This is not the actual path. We have our path created right here. Uh, but it's giving you an idea of what it's going to look like. So we want our pattern scale. We're going to bring it way up for this one. Um, and then you can add spacing between the flowers. Maybe put them closer together or space them apart. Uh, you have options for angle, distance from the path. This is going to take your pattern further away from the, the actual path itself. So if I have my path here, my flowers are going to be down here somewhere. But I'm going to keep them right on... Uh, my path. So I'm going to say distance is zero. Um, and then you can scale. So you have a lot of other options here. Of course, the color and brightness as well. Okay, so I'm going to click OK. And now you can see that I have a square pattern created from these flowers. And of course, you could make the flowers bigger um, and you can move them further away from from this path as well to make more of a border. But I just wanted to give you this example so this is our random pattern, spiral pattern, pattern along a path, a cross weave. This one is symmetry, and this is the brick pattern. So I encourage you to play with this, see what you can come up with. To learn more about working with patterns inside of Photoshop, watch one or both of the videos up on the screen right now. Until next time, thanks for watching.